So let's uh, first of all, imagine if you're <clears throat> holding on to a huge ball. Okay, so make your palms very, very big. And let's lead up the walls and across the ceiling, especially with this ring finger. And okay, with big, big palms. Anyway, and the huge breath in. And then as if there's some resistance, pull down, compress. Continue expanding through your torso so that you compress into the palms of each other. Let's bow in. So many. They. I guess you must. I do
Right all the way over. Cross the shoulder blades.
and then salamander. This arm goes inside and back, and then you take a step. This one and this one. And this and this. Need to fix my camera slightly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or backwards. <laughs> Too low. Open the chest, open the legs, and get a knee jump. here and uh, I like to time this one to see our progress okay So bending the knees just enough to really work the quads. Not so much that the quads kind of get a rest or a rest, but just where it's going to burn. <laughs> okay. And expand the chest, expand out through the arms, expand through the palms, and then let's make a circuit. Let's connect this circuit. Breathe deep. Keep the back straight. Don't throw your hips out behind you. Straight line from the base of your spine to your crown of your head.
じゃあ。Let's take a close look at this, by the way. Down, and then arms reach out. And again, imagine if there's resistance. Pretend that there's a resistance. Draw it in, not this way, but this way. Let's see if everybody can see me. <laughs> okay, so we want the elbows in rather than out. And imagine that there's resistance. So you draw it into your center, standing up. Then when When the torso straightens out, if those elbows are in, they go up effortlessly. Just like, well, Mark was here yesterday when we were talking about letting the sword go up effortlessly. Okay? By pushing on the bottom, actually. Same thing, almost, in a way. Okay? So. Here, reach out, draw it in. Now, send them up just by pushing. Your elbows with your center. Or I'll do it from this way. Reach out here. One more thing then, just like we did this one coming up, let's practice Tenshinage. <laughs> so some of you are so new, you might not even remember it, but one hand up, other hand down. But not just this, elbows should be in. I forgot to check the time on that, that other one. So. Just like when we did this with the elbows in. So now we're gonna really split ourselves. Gotta fix the camera again. Yeah. And then this time, other side. But again, Really, let's really exaggerate. Let this elbow, let these elbows drag across your midsection. Inhale. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can get this elbow to your belly button. You, you won't probably, but have the goal of bringing this so far into your center, not just here against the side, but actually into the center. <sighs> Palm up, all of you. And now we're going to also be conscious of this one going down here. Okay. There you go slower. Now, with the stance, sink back, sink back, nice mark, palm way up as it goes up, draw a line right up towards your face, 
instead of out here, Mark Sun, right up towards your face and then it spirals out. There it is. Towards your face and then out. Palm up the whole time. Omri's looking nice. Such a nice. Hi. Hi. And now here. Here. My left foot forward. And let's work on the rowing exercise. Um, I think everybody here has done it now. But what I want to focus on in these online courses, I mean, I'm always thinking it myself. I've been working on this for the last few years. Uh, but I rarely say it in the dojo. I rarely remind you guys about it. Um, let's really think on this backwards uh, part of it when we're coming back here like this let's really imagine these oars being in water and that we're getting some resistance from it okay so not just a oh a oh a oh it's easy to throw your arms out and grab oars but then there's a struggle or some resistance to bring them in so let's consciously deliberately literally Slow it down on the way back. Not surprising, probably, to ha to when I tell you that uh, we want our elbows to be in. Okay, so um, do ki if you like. I'm going to keep mine a little quiet. My upstairs neighbor is doing some sort of business up there. So uh, I, I wanted to check also: um, is there too much glare? Do I need to close my blinds? No, everybody's good. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Ayo, ayo. 
Ejo, 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 left hand on top of the right hand. It's the one that feels counterintuitive for most people. A right foot. And see if you can make this vibrate while still keeping shoulders loose, right? And a, an air pocket between the hands. Air pocket. Oh, where am I? <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Expand in every direction, down through the balls of your feet, out the fingertips and out the palm, and out through the crown of your head, out the front of your chest, and back between the shoulder blades, and out one more. Starts out slow, keep that air pocket, and it gradually increases in speed. You can constrict the back of your throat if you want for the air. Make it standing meditation. Gradually, less and less shaking, less and less vibration. All right. All right. Those of us who have swords, let's get our swords. If you don't have a sword, um, believe it or not, Shemuch actually used a water bottle one night. <laughs> so anything that uh, you could pretend is a sword. And if you don't have anything that fits that description, uh, you can even just pretend that you have a sword. Up to you. Okay, I guess Omri's going to get something. <laughs> okay, great, Sasha. Excellent. Yeah, so Omri, um, oh wow, <laughs> nice Omri. And Sarah, Sarah, you've got your sword, all right, great. And I do have swords in stock at the dojo, so um, maybe there's a way that we can rendezvous if you, if you do want to purchase a sword. Uh, anyway, the people who have the swords, one more uh, reminder. Um, actually, one of our members did smash an overhead light in last night's class. So don't do that. <laughs> Let's see what time it is, too. Okay. So <clears throat> be careful. Be aware. Hi. Kyosuke. Hey. 
お願いします。All right, since we've got new people who maybe have never held a sword,、um, let's review some basics. So we hold the sword in the left hand at about belt height. And、uh, we hold it where, if it were in the scabbard, it would be at the end of the scabbard before it meets the handle of the sword. And there's usually that, that guard. Oh, I keep forgetting about this. Just a minute, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Can you believe that I've forgotten to get this out in all these classes? This was a gift from Numata Sensei when I invited him to Los Angeles. We taught a seminar together. And、uh, this is not a sharpened blade, but still, it's, it's a real sword. Okay? I, I've been forgetting about this.、We're, AKI, we just don't do so much sword work.、Yeah. So、uh, he's an expert at this. I'm not. But、uh, it's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So, anyway,、um, right now it's in its scabbard. All right. And here is the, I think it's called tsuba, maybe. So we would be holding it,、uh, I'm not exactly. Sure, I don't use it very much.、Uh, maybe here is where we'd be holding it.、Um, but when we practice with the wooden sword, we usually put our hand here so that this is really easy to find without looking at it. Okay.、Um, no, I guess we would hold it here. Okay. So, this. Okay. Yeah. So, not sharpened, but very beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> if I want to use that in the class, I'm gonna have to practice more with it. Just kind of blew, blew my own mind there. It really puts you in, in awe when you pick up、uh, something that beautiful. So, anyway, we have the hand here. And then when we go to draw, this hand comes right up against it to draw the sword out of the scabbard. All right? So, when we're handling swords or, or doing a takeaway, when somebody attacks you with the, the wooden sword and we take it away,、um, we always hold it so that our fingers don't go over the blade. But that's a little confusing for beginners because when we stand at attention, it looks like we're grabbing the blade. But this is why we're imagining that it's in the scabbard, like what I showed you. Okay? All right. Wow, I'm so excited that I remembered that today because I'm going to practice with it and we'll, we'll do more. I don't know what the heck we'll do, but it's beautiful. <laughs> so we hold it in the left hand. And then the right hand, and sorry,、uh, once you get your sword, you guys,、uh, you new people, the blade needs to be facing up. So like this, not like this. Depending on what kind of sword you have, it's It's more subtle or not、uh, to, to see which side is the blade. So it goes facing up. So th then, <clears throat> if this hand is kind of lazy and just grabs this way, you draw it out of the scabbard, it's g o n n a here's the blade, it's g o n n a cut yourself. So you've g o t t o turn the hand so that the palm is against the inside, and then it draws out. Okay? So,、um, but all this will be more、uh, easier to practice once you have a, a, actually have a sword for the new people. New people, especially focus on breath and footwork, okay? But I will give you the full, all the information, the whole package of info. <laughs> so, then the other thing to do when we draw is. Put the right foot forward. We draw with the right foot. Hands, it'd be hard to do with a, with a wooden spoon and such, <laughs> but once you get your sword, we want to have about a fist width between the two hands. 
one hand all the way at the bottom with the pinky right on the edge. Other hand right at the top, right behind the tsuba that we talked about, that ring. All right. And then it goes back into the scabbard and the right foot comes back again. Okay, so kamae, osame. Kamae, osame, like this. Okay, then um, we want to, one more time checking the time. Yeah, good. We want to practice uh, letting it drop, those who have a sword. Those who don't can just, once again, focus on the breath and actually using your wooden spoon or something might kind of make it, or you know, your, your substitute sword, uh, it might kind of be distracting, it might take away from the exercise. So feel free, if you're using a sword substitute, feel free to set it down if it feels weird. Anyway, uh, the experienced people, let's do this one again that we've done. We'll abbreviate it today, we won't do it for so much time. Go ahead when you're ready. And we're just letting this fall. You notice I'm leaving this right hand up here. First, we wanna just explore how this falls through the air. And when it goes up, we'll inhale. And when it drops, exhale, okay? So try to do as little as possible, have a, have a loose grip. Try to just push it over the edge, let gravity take it all the way down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let your knees bend every time and don't bend your torso. Don't collapse the chest. In fact, expand the chest all the more as the sword drops and you drop. Expand through the crown of your head and expand the chest. Right foot forward, same exercise. Left foot forward. All right, and <clears throat> this time, uh, let's actually do some cuts. And I'm abbreviating, abbreviating this pretty much for a couple of reasons. One, other people already had the intro to this. Two, people without swords, it, it kind of loses something. But again, those people without real swords uh, work on the breathing too, and the expansion. So now we'll do some cuts. The hands go up over the head. Sword is about at this, this angle, this-ish angle. And we step out, okay? We'll alternate the feet. And the less we do to the sword, the less we force it through the air, the more it's apt to be accurate. <laughs> it's exactly the opposite of what human nature tells you to do. Okay, so don't think about strength. Just let it fall through the air with gravity, um, doing its, its job, okay? And I'll count 10. Sorry, one more thing to tell the new people, footwork. Um, we draw with the right foot. The first cut, the right foot repeats. And then we, we alternate left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, okay? So here we go. I come on. I eat. Knee, eight, eight, sun, eight, eight, she, eight, eight, go, eight, eight, rock, eight, eight, sheet, eight, eight, heart, eight, eight, Q, eight, eight, two, eight. I also summon it. Okay. And now let's do the same thing. 
but uh, but I'm gonna stay close. You're gonna cut. I'm not. I'm gonna be close enough that I can watch each person and give some pointers. Um, and uh, yeah, can't remember what I was gonna say. All right, hi. Come on, draw the sword. Uh huh. Yeah. I eat. Uh huh. And freeze after the second cut. Good. Nice, Mark. Okay, everybody, freeze. Yeah. Now, Sasha, open your open your chest more. Yes. Same for you, Omri. Open the chest. Drop the shoulders. Nice. Beautiful, Sarah. Knee. Uh huh. Keep the chest open. Ideally, the chest should be open the whole time that you're doing the cuts. But at, at the very least, we can remind ourselves when we freeze here, then, it, then things become evident. <laughs> I sunk. Nice, Mark. Yeah. Uh huh. I see. Uh huh. I go. Uh huh. One more thing, Omri. You're actually, whether you know it or not, you're taking backward steps on the cuts. You're doing this and this rather than rather than this and this. There you go. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Roku. Uh huh. Yes. Perfect, Omri. Uh huh. And freeze. I see. Yes. 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 Nice. I hachi. Looks like I've got a chat message coming through. Is it? Uh, speaker stopped working. Oh. Okay. Okay, so Sasha's speaker stopped working. Okay. <laughs> a bug just flew in my face. Hachi. I think that was Q last, actually, wasn't it? Uh huh. Haju. <clears throat> nice. Hi, Osame. Okay, Sasha's gone. She's probably coming back. Gonna try it again and see if she gets speaker. All right, nice. Now, let's try 10 continuously um, and keep those pointers in mind. Whatever pointers I gave you, um, come to think of it, I think that uh, Mark and, and um, Sarah, I think the only pointers I gave you were beautiful, looks good. <laughs> so keep that up. Here we go, I'll cut with you. And I'll count, of course. I come I I eat. Eight. Eight. Knee. Eight. Eight. Song. Eight. Eight. She. Eight. Eight. Go. Eight. Eight. Rogue. Eight. Eight. She. Eight. Eight. Hot. Eight. Eight. Q. Eight. Eight, two, eight, eight. And I would encourage you to end like that also. It's very easy to get to this last cut and then you hear Osame, put the sword away and Oh yeah, that's it. But this is a beautiful, beautiful opportunity for mindfulness and zanshin. Zanshin is uh, <clears throat> made of two kanji. Uh, the one of the kanji is uh, remaining, like your leftovers from dinner are are nokori mono using that that kanji, and um, and shin is heart or mind. So the the mind remains. Right, and uh, 
so beautiful, I think, to use that as a meditative uh, element to the, to the whole um, uh, exercise. Here, here, come back to both feet. All conscious, all mindful, still focused here. And then finished. Here. <laughs> anyway, I kill skate. Uh, see how much time? 48. Oof, 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 oof. Let's, let's introduce you to one more thing then. Okay. So <clears throat> it's called Zengo, Shomenuchi Zengo. And we want to do a full 180 degree turn with our body and stay low. As if we were painting a line across the ceiling with a huge paintbrush. Straight line up the wall, across the ceiling, and down this wall. So, uh, so we want this paintbrush to continue its journey and we turn under it. Here, we turn under it. The natural way, with no knowledge or, or uh, guidance on this, if you turned, you would cut this way, start lifting it. So now my paintbrush has drawn a, a diagonal line up that wall. It draws a little loop across the ceiling and down. And sometimes you do want to have, have this uh, turning here. Um, but it's good to know what you are indeed doing. <laughs> it's good to be aware of your own reality. So anyway, we cut down the wall, we lift it up, we lift it up, and we turn under it. There it goes. We lift it up, the tip can drop, and here. So it rotates in the air. So we'll just do a few of these, uh, a little bit difficult if you don't have your sword, but if you don't have a sword, then at least work on pivoting fully. Not just this far, but this far. And you're gonna to need to bend both knees. Sometimes knees start to straighten up when you pivot. So keep them bent. Uh, allow the foot to open up so that it can bend more easily. So here we go. I come I eat. Eight, eight, knee, eight, eight, song, eight, eight, she, eight, eight, go, eight, eight, broke, eight, eight, sheet, eight, eight, hot, eight, eight, cue, eight, eight, do, eight, eight. I also on it. I I kyotsuke. And this this phrase kyotsuke is basically translates to attention. When you hear attention, then the left hand is down at your side, free, and the right hand is holding the sword right at belt level. Hey, arigatou gozaimashita. Put them away. All right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then let's do some sitting again before we bow out. Big, big, big hands from your inside, from your core. These open, draw lines up the walls. Hold on, something resistant. Let's draw a line up, especially that wall. 
open the rib cage, compress, expand the rib cage, expand the chest and the arms into the palms, which compress against each other and expand into each other. So many. Hey. Hey. Ready to learn our stuff? Wow, nice. Unmute everybody. <laughs> Where is it? There we go. Unmute all. All right. Great to see you, Sasha and uh, and Omri. This is their first time on here. And Sarah is actually, since we've got a few minutes, we can go around and introduce each other and introduce ourselves. <laughs> um, should we should we start with Mark? You're the highest ranked in AKI, and where you're from, and anything else you want to add. Hi uh, everyone, uh, I'm Mark, it's nice to meet you. It's really, really exciting to see new faces every time I train. Uh, so sort of one of the, I guess the good parts of this thing, if it's a good part of it. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm in uh, New Jersey and I train at AKI Pennsylvania. So uh, nice to meet you. Nice, nice. And I guess we're going by in order of uh, rank and experience in AKI. That's our organization for you new people, AKI USA. 
So AKI in Pennsylvania, where Mark is. And then next, uh, Sarah, I'll let you uh, introduce yourself. Okay. Um, hi, <laughs> I'm Sarah. And I trained about a year ago, a little bit more. I started doing Aikido in LA, in the dojo in LA. And then I moved back to the Netherlands. So um, yeah, it's quite exciting to uh, be here actually <laughs> online virtually. It's very interesting. Cool, cool. All right, and then I think you're next, Sasha, in the seniority lineup here. Uh, hi, I'm Sasha. And I guess I started in November or something like that uh, at the dojo in LA but I did a different style of Aikido for like a year and a half, about three years ago, three or four years ago. So yeah, I'm excited to start again. And uh, yeah, this was great. I had no idea how stiff my body was until <laughs> we were doing one of the stretches and I heard like multiple things pop in my knee and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So thank you. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Thank you. And Omri. Yes, I'm Omri. I started like a month ago, a month and a half ago. Um, I love it. It's just everything. I, I'm glad that we keep on doing practice and you learn so, so much. You know, you, you can do the basics forever and just keep learning, in my opinion. Um, so thank you for keep keeping this active and you know during this time it means a lot to me too. I just wanted to thank you. Nice to meet all of you guys. Nice, thank you. <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. It's it's so nice. I'm glad that you guys um, get so much out of it like I do. So when we embarked on this, when we were thrown into this. Um, Frankly, I had no idea what I was going to do in these classes, um, but it's it's uh, you know it's sort of evolved. Uh, it's been uh, kind of this exciting uh, exploration and uh, full of surprises, even for me. <laughs> so things just occur to me uh, while I'm moving, and and then uh, I've got people like you who. Uh, are open-minded and I just start exploring things so anyway love it um, also some of these videos uh, I've decided to do live on Facebook uh, just for a little while and um, and soon uh, I'll be um, I'll be putting them up what was the system anyway mark is sort of coaching us we're sort of making a process um, and uh, Sarah you're on your intro package uh, if you decide to continue, I hope you do, if you decide to continue and do an ongoing membership, then um, you'll, you'll always be able to do these interactive. Um, but we're going to put them sometimes up on Facebook, but then take them down after about 24 hours so that the public knows what's going on. But, um, you know, we'll keep it to the people who are really serious and committed um, as far as being able to be live interactive. So if that makes sense. Anyway, so let the, the point is, uh, let your friends and neighbors and family, everybody know about it. Everybody's welcome. Um, and uh, there's, there's choices, just like the intro packages that you do when you come to the regular dojo. There are now uh, online intro options. So um, feel free to spread the link around and it's on our uh, Facebook group pages and stuff, or if you can't find it, just let me know. Um, and it's so cool, Omri, that, uh, I don't know whether everybody understood, Omri, I think this is your fourth class ever, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's still in his intro package yeah. and, uh, and here he is online, so that's really cool. And you might remember Ben, Ben uh, had four regular, four classes at the regular dojo. His fifth class was uh, virtual. And then he signed up. So he's a <laughs> member of the dojo now. And uh, so, um, yeah. One more thing. Um, 
We're having a, a dojo virtual happy hour today at 5.45, right, Mark? Yeah, okay, 5.45. Um, obviously it's just, it's a happy hour. So, you know, it's, um, optional, uh, but it will be really fun to uh, have everybody attend. Um, I guess Sarah, that'd be like two in the morning for you or something, right? Well, if I can't sleep, I'll pop by. <laughs> okay. okay. So yeah, last time we had what Mark, maybe 10 people or something. Yeah, it was a lot. And it was like 10 minutes notice, you know? And so mm -hmm. this time, I think I sent it out this morning and I think including, you know, parents and kids from the youth program, I think it's somewhere around like 40 or 45 people. So who knows like how that's going to happen, but it's bound to be fun. <laughs> so get your favorite drink and um, you know, the kids sometimes get like fizzy water and stuff. It's, <laughs> it's super cute. So anyway, hope to see you then. And uh, thank you for training with me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.